along with me as I bake some carrot cake today. But first of all, we need to go to the chicken pen to gather some eggs so I can get my baking done. Come along. There's probably not too many people that can do this when they're baking and they need eggs is walk out to their ho own backyard to look for eggs. And I have four hens sitting in the nesting box. There's two eggs down here I can get. There's one and two. And that little Missy is Looks like she's getting ready to push one out. <laughs> and there it is. I don't know if you guys saw that or not, but there's a fresh laid egg. Thank you. <laughs> oh, there's no other eggs in there, so turn the flat the light on so you can see it and, let, and this is my broody hen yep she's underneath one that's a pretty egg look how speckly that is so we got three all right i'm gonna kick her off because she doesn't need to be on and as you can see still a little bit wet but look at that pretty laid, freshly laid egg. And of course, she's proud of herself. Did you lay an egg yet? I need two more, I need a couple more. All right, I guess I need to go check the other barn because I don't think she has any. I need at least two more because I got some in the house. So, not unless she's getting ready to lay. Miss Brownie is laying on her nest. She didn't lay an egg yet. So, I guess I need to go in the house and double check, see if I have any eggs in the other fridge. That was laid yesterday. Okay, now we're back in the house after we gathered eggs. Um, I did have eggs from yesterday, um, so I do have enough for my recipe. So I don't have to worry about going to the store and buying eggs so that makes it nice when or wait till later on and see if any more eggs are laid so that makes it nice as well so like I said we're making carrot cake today um, I will have the recipe in the description below um, if you like these videos please hit the like and the subscribe button I would really appreciate that um, so like all my recipes I will put, like I said, I'll put the description below, and that is for a single batch. What I do is a double batch, um, so everything I put in, it is double of what the recipe calls for, because uh, I do a big, I do the catering pan. So, um, so yeah, I just realized I've got all my ingredients around, but I forgot to get all the measuring cups around. So I need to go do that here real quick. Alrighty, so we're going to start putting ingredients in the bowl. So I need four cups of flour in total for my doubling batch. I have a habit of leaving measuring cups in my flour. Sometimes I forget that I have it once in a while, depending on how dirty they get. I'll wash them. Most of the time I'll leave a whole measuring cup in my flour bin because it's that big. Um, that way I don't have to always try to find a measuring cup. So that's one. Two. Three. And I use the knife to level it. I forget how I learned 
that process, but I just do that so that way I know it's a level one cup measure. All right, so the flour's in the end. Technically, I'm supposed to sift it. I don't do that, and it seems to turn out okay for me. Um, baking powder right here. baking powder for these. So one, two, three, four. And salt. I need <clears throat> three of these. One, two, One of my favorite grocery stores closed last week, um, and that was Darren Camps. I loved going there because I could get seasonings in this big container, um, six and a half ounces, like all kinds. They had different seasonings and like that there, and you could eat, like get them for cheaper, just about the same price as you can get the small ones, just about. Um, so it sucks that that store went out of business. They got sold. They got bought out by another grocery store. Um, they were as in business for 86 years, I think it was. So yeah, and I like going there because the people was very nice in the store. And um, but so now I have to get groceries at other places. But anywho, on a side note, that was I have a habit of rambling sometimes. All right, one. Two, three, four, and two cups of sugar, actually four cups, and that's a half a cup, I gotta work with that. I do the same thing with my sugars. I leave the measuring cups in. Um, after a bit, though, they start kind of sticking to it. So that's when I go and I wash them. All right, sugar. One, two, three, four. I don't think I need, oh wait, I do need that measuring cup. It for when I do the carrots. All right, I've got to get the pieces for my. Now I use a hand mixer. I do have a KitchenAid mixer. It's I think it's this, a smaller one, so I don't. It doesn't work for me to do the big batches in it because I don't have a big bowl, or I don't think it would be able to handle the big batches. So I use a hand mixer. Um, the electric hand mixer um so yeah but this is all the dry ingredients so i'm going to take a wooden spoon i'll have a spatula in hand for when i'm done i'm going to mix it all by hand here so that way it doesn't get all dusty um and then i'm going to add my oil and um and eggs then and technically, I'm supposed to sift the flour, the baking powder, the salt, and the cinnamon all together. And the sugar. I'm supposed to sift it. I don't do any of that. To me, it's just one more hassle step. And it seems like it turns out just as good. Everybody really likes my baking. Um, so, yeah. I... I really like to bake. I like baking. Um, oops. Not necessarily eating it. I could care less of eating it. Um, but I love to bake it. Um, and this is a pretty simple recipe. And um, 
you could easily substitute the flour uh, for gluten-free flour if you wanted to. Um, it's very, like I said, it's very simple. I have done a lot. Most of my recipes I do, um, there's a good bit of them. I have done gluten-free, so especially when I'm in the mood for it. And my husband can't tell and my kids can't tell that I've changed the flour in it. Um, mostly probably because of the flour I use. So, uh, so yeah, so pretty much any of these recipes, I, a lot of them, like I said, a lot of them I have converted. I got a lot of recipes here. Yeah, that I rotate all year long. I do different things. Um, yeah. Now to get on back to baking. Sorry for that. Like I said, I have a habit of rambling and getting off the subject. All right, so you need eight eggs. So this egg was laid yesterday. Four of the eggs was laid yesterday. And four are fresh from this morning. So, what you guys saw that. I just love being able to walk out and gather the eggs for when I need an egg. I just like being able to do that. And I think it makes, um, I think this is the one that we saw being laid. Um, I just love, I think it makes them taste better. Um, try to get most of the sawdust off. There we go. If I clean them off just right and I crack them just right, I don't have to worry about any sawdust getting into it. So, and I'm going to show you another reason why I like my farm eggs. Um, Look at that dark orange, yellowish color. That is because they're free range chicken. Um, and they're getting all the grass and stuff. So, all right. Now I need to mix, or not, not mix yet. I gotta get oil. And I need three cups, or no, yeah, three cups. So I'm going to do it twice. I do one, it calls for one and a half for a single recipe. So, I just do it twice. So, here's that. Is that there? All right. So, now I need to mix that. And I figure you don't want to hear the mixer. So, I'm going to stop it now. And then I also have to cut them to grate the carrots still. Um, so, I will come back to you when this is mixed. And um, when my carrots are done being chopped up. Alrighty, so carrots are chopped and I needed four cups and there's four cups in here so they're all going in. There's that. Um, let's see, I need a cup. Where's my cup measure? There it is. Of well, it says nuts. I am using walnuts. Um, so there's. It's nice. I can use that bag. I was hoping to. So that one's done. Alrighty. Now for the pineapples. Yep, you heard right. Crushed pineapples. So. I, I gotta drain them. So, 
And you may be wondering, why am I draining it into a cup? Because I like pineapple juice. And why let it go to waste? When it tastes so good and it's so good for you. So. And this is the crushed pineapple. Um, I feel like there's something on, oh, it's on my camera. Must have flung some stuff on my phone. Alrighty. Not strength. Okay, so I'll put that and then pineapple juice. Not sure if we have orange juice or not to brown with that. But I like to mix it. I store stuff in the oven. I don't know if anybody else does. So whenever, before I ever start the oven, because this happened to me one time, I almost burnt something in the oven or melted something, I forget. I have to double check the oven before I turn it on. Um, like I said, I put stuff in the oven so the kids don't get into it. Um, yeah, so I don't know if anybody else does that. I'll put food and stuff. Not all food, but, and I'll even sometimes put some pots and pans in. All right, so now I'm going to mix that and get my pan ready to uh, throw it in the oven. So I got it also preheat the oven. So at 350, so I'm going to go grab my pan here. And it goes. level itself out so I really don't have to do much. So now I just have to wait for the oven to preheat. Throw it in the oven for I think it's a half hour. 35 minutes. And then gotta let it cool and then I'll show you then how I do the frosting for it. Or the icing. So we'll be back when it's all done. And here I have cream cheese and butter. Um, next I'm going to be putting vanilla and salt, mixing it up, and then I'll be putting 10x sugar in it. And that is the icing for the carrot cake. This is what it looks like. It actually baked longer um, because it was such a big pan. I had to bake it for about 50 minutes before it was done. So I will show you what the icing looks like when I'm all done. Here is what it looks like when it's all mixed. I'm going to put it on the cake now.
And that's the cream cheese icing. And of course, the best part is eating the beaters. I don't know how many of you guys do that. And the spatula too. That's best. I like the cream cheese icing. So this is what it looks like when it's all done. I will be putting this in the fridge since this is cream cheese. Um, I'll be covering it and then putting it in the fridge. And then it'll be eaten tomorrow. Um, if you make this, I hope you enjoy it. And have a wonderful day. Don't forget to hit the like and the subscribe button. Thanks.